everyone who's on the outside. You're all invited to come. Well, Welcome anyone who's on the outside. You're all invited to come. If you want me, if, if you, you want, want me, me to publish your story, to publish your story in the Huffington Post, in the Huffington Post, give it to me afterwards. Give, give it to me afterwards. Each word, each week. Each week, I'm putting up three or four stories. I'm putting up three or four stories. And eventually, I'll get to everyone. And eventually, I'll get to everyone. Who would like to go next? Who would like to go next? And when you tell your story, and when you tell your story, if you make it personal and specific, if you make it personal and specific about what really brought you here, about what really brought you here, it really, it's really, um, it, it has more resonance. It has more resonance. Everybody participates. And everybody participates. And when we're doing the stories, and when we're doing the stories, if you really say the other person's story, if you really say the other person's story, an amazing thing happens. An amazing thing happens. The person's story goes into you. The person's story goes into you. And you feel their story. And you'll feel their story for a long time after you leave here. For a long time. After you leave here, it's a new kind of theater. It's a new kind of theater. Occupy theater. An occupied theater. I'm from Occupy Philly. I'm here from Occupy Philly. One of the reasons I came back up here. One of the reasons I came back up here. Because I was here for the second and third weekends at Occupy Wall Street. Because I was here for the second and third weekends of Occupy Wall Street. The second Friday I was here. The second Friday I was here. You guys weren't allowed to have tents or any permanent structures. People were freezing cold and wet. People, People were, were freezing, freezing cold, cold and wet. And the cops were being horrible. And, and the, the cops, cops were being horrible. horrible. And the amount of energy and support that everyone had. And the amount of energy and support that everyone had. Was unbelievably amazing. Was unbelievably amazing. People were standing in the rain under tarps and umbrellas. People were standing in the rain under tarps and umbrellas. Keeping each other dry because they weren't even allowed to use cardboard. The next day, the next day, I got arrested on the Brooklyn Bridge. I got arrested on the Brooklyn Bridge. And I don't really know why. And I don't really know why. And everyone I've talked to, and everyone I've talked to, doesn't know why. Doesn't know why. The next weekend, the next weekend, we started Occupy Philly. We started Occupy Philly. We'll be losing our house this spring. But we'll be losing our house this spring. And have to move, I don't know where, but. I'm also here because of the disgusting greed. I'm mean, also here because, here because of the disgusting greed of Wall Street. Of Wall, of Wall Street. Street. And I don't understand how a human being can accept millions of dollars. Short, short. I don't understand how a human being can accept millions of dollars. And a bonus. And a, and a bonus. bonus. And allow your fellow workers just to be tossed out. And, and allow your fellow workers, workers just to be tossed out. out. I feel, and I'm also very much against these two wars that have put us in this position. And I'm very much against these two wars that have put us in this position. And I want this country to start uniting together. People should unite together. I want this country to start uniting together. People should unite together. This is not a left or right wing issue. This is not a left or right wing issue. It's a human issue. It's a human issue. Quite frankly, I'm totally sick of it. And I want anyone that's here. Thank you very much. What's your first name? 